Hello, friends. Welcome to the Career Guru Podcast. I am your host, Steve Yanofsky. What a glorious day it is to start your path on a new career. Doors are opening here at the Boston Career Institute even as we speak. And I'm here holding the key for you. So tune in, stay sharp, and enjoy yourself. This is going to be great. Hashtag Let's Career Up. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Career Guru Podcast. I am your all-knowing, all-sensing, all-feeling, all-understanding career guru, here to enlighten and inspire you to achieve great things in healthcare or any place else. Today, it is my most sincere pleasure to have a great guest, one of my former graduates from the dental assisting program, Emma Cifuentes. Emma, please introduce yourself to the rest of us. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So my name is Emma Cifuentes. I am part of a dental support organization called Progressive Dental Management. I actually run their day-to-day and oversee all aspects of their business. My title is Chief Operating Officer. Um, My job is to pretty much make sure that all business tasks are done correctly every single day. Wow, that is extraordinary. And all from such humble beginnings as a dental assistant, huh? Tell me, Emma, how many dental assistants do you, do you oversee today? About 80 of them. Wow, that's just amazing. That's just amazing. Um, dental assisting is a real career now, isn't it? Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about dental assisting, what it means today. So a dental assistant plays a very important part in patient care and delivering the exceptional experience that we expect um, while we visit a dental office. The way I like to explain to my team is a dental office is kind of like a human body. The doctor is the heart, the team in the front is the head, but without the body itself, uh, you are able to you know, move around. So the dental assistant is the ones that are constantly keeping up with the flow. They're the ones making sure that the patients are prepared, that everything that's needed for that day is where it needs to be in the clinical side. So they're definitely a huge key player for the success of the offices. I even joke around that I say that they're like mind readers. They are, you know, definitely uh, the glue into the clinical team. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And recently I had a visit a visit uh, to my dentist. And, you know, my dentist really didn't have to say much of anything to the assistant. The assistant was actually able to read the body language of the dentist and knew exactly what to do, what instrument to hand, you know, uh, what uh, material to give, to prepare what. There was really the communication was more on, on a, some kind of a spiritual level than anything else. Am I wrong? I mean, do, do dental assistants really truly understand all of this dentistry and every subtle move that the dentist makes? Is that really how it works? Absolutely. When you have been working with your dentist for a long time, you know what they want even before they even know what they want, because you are practicing forehand dentistry. And, you know, without a dental assistance, I'm not even making this up. Your dentist, most of the time, cannot even do dentistry. And it is pretty interesting to see what happens when the dental assistant is not at work because there is really no dentistry being done. They are it. Like, they are the glue for those dentists. Yeah, yeah, I know. I I know exactly what you mean. So these young ladies and young men, um, or whatever age, you know, they may be, you can make a a career at this anytime. So you can make a living today doing dental assisting. This is not, uh, this is no longer one of these jobs that people get that are entry level. This is really a career. Uh, Am I, am I right about that? Absolutely. This is definitely a career, uh, especially in the past two, three years, things have really changed in the dental world. Uh, there is a dental office in pretty much every corner is, uh, incredible to see. And, you know, there's just so much you can do as a dental assistant. There's so many different specialties. You can really specialize in so many different things from pediatric to perio to oral surgery, to ortho, to just, you know, 
general where you can do so many different things throughout the day. So it really depends on where your skill set is and what kind of career you want to build for yourself. Wow, you threw so many words at me. Uh, ortho, perio, uh, endo. Can you give me a little bit of an explanation so the rest of us who are not really familiar with dentistry understand exactly what these words mean? Tell me a little bit about perio, endo, and ortho and uh, just uh, some of the subtle intricacies um, in those fields, if you, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So general dentistry is pretty much what it is. It's general. You can do a little bit of everything that involves dentistry from preventative, from the cleanings to uh, also doing root canals that is more endo. You can do uh, behavior management with kids or even some adults. Um, you're able to also do oral surgery. Those are usually your implants or your extractions when you're removing uh, your tooth. Um, you are able to do partials that are the removables or dentures. There is implants. So the general dentistry is where you're able to do a little bit of everything, but you're also able to specialize. Just like your providers are able to specialize into different specialties where they want to focus more on root canals or they want to focus more on doing implants or they want to focus on more extractions or just kids or just adults. You're able to specialize with that doctor and that is a career that you can choose for yourself as a dental assistant. You don't have to do everything like a general dentist. You're able to focus on something that you also love to do and still be in the dental field and you are a extreme important key player to the day-to-day -day of that dentist you know recently i i had to take one of my kids to an orthodontist uh, well recently i mean a few days a few years ago uh and uh you know i only saw the orthodontist twice the first time we went and the last day we were there all the other vis visits we had for the orthodontist and for you know, for just in case people don't know, that's braces. Now, uh, I spent what about seven thousand dollars on on braces for for one of my kids, and uh, all the other times that we went to see the orthodontist, we actually saw the assistant. It was the assistant who was doing all of the work over the year plus that we had to have the braces on. So that particular assistant, as I inquired politely and gently what uh, that young lady was making she told me a number which was just which blew my mind she was making 45 bucks an hour as an orthodontic assistant is that true is that something that still can be done or this is completely out uh, out uh, of the left field there is this a realistic number for an orthodontic assistant it depends. It depends on the area, but it also depends on the skill set, and it also depends on the position that this person holds. Um, there is definitely ways to make above the the amount that you search on Google. Um, but if you are going to be an entry level, obviously your pay is entry level. But if you have more responsibilities, you know, with responsibilities comes the rewards of getting paid more. So yes, there is people out there, uh, you know, that can make that much by being a dental assistant. Absolutely. Especially on specialties where they are the ones doing the majority of the work. So it depends also on what career path that dental assistant is going to take, if it's going to be a specialty or if it's going to be, uh, if they're certified differently. So there is so many different, you know, education as well that comes in with that. So as a dental assistant, there is different levels of being a dental assistant. Right, right. I understand. From our standpoint and BCI, Boston Career Institute, we provide training so people become formally trained. But there are also other ways to become a dental assistant. Uh, there is the on-the-job training uh, aspect of it, is, uh, if I remember correctly. And most dentists are able to provide that kind of training. And even though it's limited, there's a lot of possibilities for people to join dentistry, a, a dental team, through an on-the-job training program um, basically while the dentist is training them. Am I correct? You are correct. I don't fully recommend that side of it um, just for the fact that you're very limited with your skill set. There's a lot that you can't do through the Board of Dentistry. The expectations are 
high when it comes to being a dental assistant because you're such a valuable player into the day to day. So it is a good way to start if you like, but it's not the ideal way. The ideal way is definitely going in and doing formal in my opinion, because you are able to start with your radiology. You're able to start with your infection control. You know, you're going to need to be certifying different aspects to become a formally trained assistant. So that is the proper way of doing it. But after that, you know, your education is not over. You're able to become a CDA. You're able to become specialized in different uh, specialties. There is certified orthodontics assistant. There's certified for endo, for profi, for, you know, there's behavior management classes that you can take. So there is a lot that you can still do, even after becoming a formally trained, if you like, to just enhance the abilities of your career path. That's amazing. I mean, your career path has been absolutely sterile, to, uh, stellar, I, I meant to say. You went from a dental assistant, you know, and you rose to being a chief operating officer for a company that runs 20 different practices, that manages, helps to manage 20 different practices. Uh, and that is just amazing, which is why, why I'm so happy to have you on board. Now, from your standpoint, would you recommend dental assisting as a career? And why would you say that it would be a good a start for a lot of people. So obviously, you know, I'm a little biased to it. I definitely recommend it. I do run 20 dental offices with some incredible people around. I don't do it by myself. Um, I am not the face of the patients and the dental assistants and the dental receptionists and the managers and our providers are the one offering the care every single day. I only have one job and it's to be a very great supporter for my, my team. But as a dental assistant, you know, it is definitely a, a career that's very rewarding. You got to be a good listener because a dental assistant, you know, you guys are the front lines of the patients every day. You got to have compassion because patients are often nervous to come to the dentist, regardless of who it is, how old they are. You know, they're nervous and you guys become like the therapist on the day to day. So it is definitely rewarding on that side. Uh, you got to be a people's person. You cannot be a dental assistant if you're not a people's person. You you got to love meeting new people every day. You know, if that is what you like to do, dental assistant is definitely for you. Uh, you got to have some strong work ethics. You're going to be on your feet uh, quite a lot throughout the day. You are also handling a lot of things when it comes to infection control. I mean, if you are not properly taking care of your office, making sure that things are clean, that you are protecting yourself and and you're protecting your patients, you know, there is a lot of responsibility when it comes to that. But it is definitely a career that I'm very grateful that I was that I started. It's uh, where I was able to really understand how much I love dentistry and how much I wanted to support the dentist owners that gave me the opportunity to manage every single one of their entities. So it is very, very amazing to say so that becoming a dental assistant can open a lot of doors for so many people in so many different ways and so many different career paths that they decide to take. Wow, that's just amazing. So what would you say the job market is today for uh, someone who's trying to start in this career path today? Is there enough opportunities out there for people? You know, at this moment, I can clearly say that there is more than enough job for a dental assistant. Uh, the dental world is definitely growing. Um, it is definitely something that it's never going to go away. It is something that you are always going to have a career if you want. It is healthcare. So, you know, I like to say sometimes that we are the stepchild to the medical field because patients forget that they have to come to the dentist every six months. And, you know, it is very unfortunately to say, but a lot of people forget how important it is to take care of your oral health. It connects to so many different parts of your body and it can make such a big change for your life. So it is a very rewarding career that is very forgotten, but with some great people that are looking to come back to the work field or just switch their careers or find something that they can, de you know, have that people's interaction, that person to person. This is the career to be at. That's my opinion. 
No, that's 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 perfect. I I, I knew the right person to ask would be you. Uh, now I know you work uh, hand in hand with my internship coordinator Jennifer, and I know she sends people to you to do their clinical hours. So, folks, I want you to remember that here over at Boston Career Institute, we work with such wonderful places that uh, Emma manages, um, and uh, and she is into 20 practice, practices alone. And so when you come here, you will actually have the ability to go to one of Emma's practices if, if she likes you, that is, <laughs> um, and, and do your training over there. And then with God's help, maybe get hired. What do you think, Emma? I mean, Sounds our like doors are always for open for all of the students. Um, I love getting new interns for so many different reasons. One, I love the opportunity to be able to show every single student that this is a career for long term. It's not a temporarily career. It's not just a step stool. There's so many things that you can do being a dental assistant. Uh, you know, some of my greatest team members started as a dental assistant and those that didn't start as a dental assistant and have somehow figured out how to become one at one point of their life. You know, I have a regional manager who was a dental assistant for, I think, about four years. And she was like, Am I really want to start doing the business side of it. I'm like, absolutely. You know, she is probably one of the best that I have worked with. Uh, you know, and the reason why is because she had the clinical background. Even when you're speaking to a doctor, your doctor wants to know that you can relate to them. You know, I have a lot of managers that used to be dental assistants. I have managers that became dental assistants because they wanted the skill set. So it is definitely a very rewarding career. So any student that's looking for internship, I will definitely take it. I just love the opportunity to help anybody who thinks that dentistry is going to be lifelong term for them as well. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Emma. It's amazing that you're able to give back like that, to be a mentor to somebody. Folks show up there for 320 hours. Folks, it's a, it's a long time. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of hours, and this is really where, where you can learn a lot about the job, on the job, which is which is just amazing, especially when you have capable mentors like, like Emma and her staff. Um, Emma, I think we've, we, we talked a lot about dental assisting today. What would be some of your parting words and words of wisdom and advice to people who may consider dentistry as a as a career choice for themselves at what age and you know it's never too late what would you say to people don't put dentistry in a box uh we're so much more than just cleaning teeth uh there is just so much that goes on into the dental world that you can do and you can be part of it. I think that there is a perspective out there that, you know, they're just cleaning teeth. No, that's not what we're doing. We are changing people's life by creating smiles. So, you know, I'm a big believer that working in the dental industry, you're smile creators. Like that's who we are. So, you know, open your eyes, give an opportunity. Medical field is great, but the dental field is even more amazing. Uh, and, you know, obviously I'm biased to it again, but the fact that I'm able to create smiles and I'm able to be the person that helped that person smile again and have confidence, that's what I'm looking for. So I tell my team all the time, as a reminder, you know, your smile is the business card to the outside world. So remi remember that every single time a patient walks through the door and you are able to become a smile creator, you build confidence into that patient's life that they probably were missing. And that's on you. So congrats, kudos to you. You did it. And let's keep going because there are so many more patients out there looking for the opportunity to have the best smile that they never thought that they could before. Extraordinary. Just I, you know, I know it from firsthand experience. It used to be you go into a dental office and it's just about drilling and filling and 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 this and that. But today it's so much more. People walk in unhappy with themselves or with their smile, but and they leave the office with a complete and total uh, change in their lives. They can look at themselves different. They can take pictures. They're smiling on photos. They're more confident going confident going uh, to job interviews. 
Um, it's amazing. You're absolutely right. Uh, I love the dental field. I mean, I would never work in the dental field. I'm one of those crazy people who wouldn't. But for everyone else, for everyone else, if you don't mind the teeth, this is a place to be. Dental assisting is a great start, can be a great career. And as you can see in the example of Emma, the sky is the limit. It's all about you. You know, let me share a, a quick story about a dental assistant that I that I knew. And uh, it was an amazing thing. It has a it's, a, it's a both happy and a sad story. Uh, one of our former dental assistant students got a job with a uh, single uh, uh, dentist, a uh, single practice uh, dentist. He, he was only, the only dentist uh, working in the practice. Local community-based dental practice. Only two chairs in the office and um, community dentist. And uh, he took one of my dental assistant as an intern and, and she was able to turn his practice around. He was one of these dentists who could never uh, charge his uh, patients the right amount of money for his dental work. And he was just barely scraping by. Well, this young lady walked in and she cleaned up his shop. <laughs> she was able to charge people the money that they owed the dentist, that they never paid him for years. Um, and uh, his dental practice flourished. So a few years went by and a tragedy happened and, and the dentist got sick. He got sick with, the, with cancer and he was out for about a year, year and a half um, uh, fighting for his life. And uh, this young lady, while he was sick, she could have, you know, just closed up shop and found a job someplace else. But no, she got in touch with his dentist uh, friends from the neighborhood and she was able to have them come in and service his patients while he was receiving treatment for cancer. Um, and the practice flourished. It didn't, it didn't wither on the, on, the, on the vine. It flourished. She was able to mix people around and bring people bring dentists in, bring hygienists in to that particular practice while he was recovering. When he came back, his practice was doing better than while he was there. He practiced for a few years and then he got sick again and unfortunately passed away. But not until such time that he was able to put his assistant into his will. And, uh, you know, because of what she did for him and for his family. So I, I know there are stories like that out there, but this is a story of one dental assistant who was able to uh, improve a dentist's life by making him profitable, by making him successful in the time when he couldn't do that. He was a fantastic dentist, just couldn't do anything about the business of dentistry. And his dental assistant was able to do that. And she was able to provide for his family while he was fighting for his life. What do you think of the story, Emma? You know, that is definitely something that I have seen many times happen when, you know, a dental assistant is the lifeline of the, the dentist. And sometimes, you know, I don't think they are as appreciated as they should, but they are the flow. They are the ones that are the first face into the clinical side of that patient before the dentist walks into the room. Those are the people that are there helping the patient, getting to know the patient. So I think this story is incredible and there's so many more just like it. And, you know, I wish that we would share them more because being a dental assistant, it's so rewarding. And I feel like a lot of people just don't know it. And if they did, they would have liked to be part of it as well. Well, this is why we're here. We're able to share these stories and we're able to tell the story. Uh, I wish I could share the name of the dentist and of the assistant, but I don't think I can at this point. But if I find out that I can, I will. In the meantime, this was great, Emma. I think we were able to inspire a lot of people, empower a lot of people to pursue this career in, in dentistry and to really make a difference. I'm so grateful that you were able to make it uh, uh, and join me on, the, at this, uh, on this podcast and uh, give the people the, the power to pursue their dreams because they can do it. Thank you, Emma. Thank you very much. And uh, God bless you. And uh, may you have nothing but success um, with, uh, with the great work that you do. 
Thank you for having me. And I hope a lot of people get inspired about being smile creators and come join us in some of these amazing dental offices that are all around. You know, obviously, I would love for them to join us, but just being in the dental field is so rewarding. So I hope you guys join. This career is amazing. And I hope to see you on this side. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. This brings us to an exciting. Uh, this brings us to a conclusion to this exciting chapter and this great podcast. Let's career up. Well, friends and aspiring career gurus, this was fun. Thank you for tuning in. I feel enlightened. I feel empowered, and I hope you do too. And I'm feeling grateful that we spent time together. For more information about Boston Career Institute, please visit our website at www.bostoncareer.org. Boston Career Institute has three campuses in Brookline, Malden, and Lowell, Massachusetts. You can call our toll-free number at 888-383-6058. For questions, comments, and or other information about our podcast, Email bcipodcast at bostoncareer.org. The Career Guru Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor FM, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, PodBay FM, and of course YouTube, or wherever you stream your podcasts. I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. All the best to you. My name is Steve Yanofsky. I am the Career Guru. May God bless you. Hashtag, let's career up. <laughs>